Welcome back, Nocturnal Hamsters, to another ARK video! Yeah, I've waited so long to play this game. Not really. Uh, to be honest uh, and fair with you guys, I uh, wanted to let you know that I am playing two different save games of ARK at this time. Um, I have a modded file that I've modded save game I've been playing. Okay. And the save game for you guys, which is the vanilla. Uh, and to be honest, the difference is super dramatic. Like, one of my modded on my modded playthrough, I can hold like ten thousand fiber easy. In this game, when I get to freaking, you know, like a thousand, it's like. <laughs> but welcome back, welcome back. Um, I can't remember where I left off in the last video. I should have looked and seen um, the place I left it off on. But I'm pretty sure I didn't have this yet for you guys, um, and it's—I mean—it's all out of thatch. It's nothing super fantastic. I haven't even finished it yet. But we have the uh, simple bed. Uh, this is the unlimited respawn bed, so we can keep using. But it has a cooldown timer, so like, you know, if I if I die, and then respawn at my bed, and then die again, I have to respawn randomly, unless I build another bed, which is um, something I might do. Uh, and then just you know double checking I've got food berries etc and a bunch of materials nothing you know I haven't done a whole lot except cooked fish and fish what do I got in here nothing okay well I think actually I went out to gather materials because I'm going to be building my roof I think that's what I was doing right that ceiling one that that fantastic okay so I guess I have to do more thatch so today now that we're like five minutes into the game you know I thought I'd give a little monologue for you guys just starting off welcome back to art <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do today I know that I'm currently working on finishing my thatch house here um, you know I spent the majority the majority the majority of my time in this game with modded uh, gameplay so it might take me a little getting used to. Do I have another thatch ceiling? No, I need three, right? No, I only need two. I think I only have two. Okay. Uh, getting used to vanilla again. Um, to be honest, I wish that I never... I think I mentioned this previously. I wish that I never uh, played with mods, even though there's some mods that I really do enjoy playing. It tainted the game, you know? I don't want to say it made the game unplayable or anything, or vanilla unplayable, but like, I wish that I had finished the game, or you know, finished the game, prior to playing with mods. Which is, I, I suggest to you, if you haven't, um, if you haven't done mods yet and you play Ark, don't play with mods until you've, you know, feel like you've done everything there is to offer in the game. Then, and I guess you can say that it's true about most games. Or almost any game, because that's how it is. I don't need... Ugh, see, like, this is a big one for me. In my mod... My modded playthrough. The stack size is 10,000. So, like, this is just killing me right now. <laughs> Anywho... I'm not 100% sure of what the plan is for this video. I just wanted to record some art for you guys. And I'm unsure... Oops of what to do. I think I already said that, didn't I? I'm getting sidetracked. Well, how are we looking on our blueprints, or on our ingrams here? When are we gonna get the large storage box? Not for like a few levels. Okay, so we need to build another box. This is the downside to freaking vanilla. I'm gonna keep saying that. I'm sorry, I should just stop comparing the two. And I'm sure that's gonna get very annoying if all I do is comparing vanilla to modded. See, I can't even... <laughs> Nothing. Don't even worry about it. Alright, here we go. We're just gonna... Make these my resource... My resource boxes. And these are my food boxes. That's how we're gonna do this. Oh, come on. Uh, get rid of the stone. There we go. Throw all this stuff in here. There we go, like so. Really like this, and like so. Bada bing, bada boom. And then we're gonna take out all the meat that's in here. And throw it in here. 
Got a big bun of And we're gonna put the narco, the rotten meat in there. And we're gonna cook this meat. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so I gotta move again. Hopefully that doesn't affect the green screen too much. A problem I think I mentioned before too. It's not like I sit here all day in my chair, but like I sit in my chair enough during the day that when it comes time to record at night, that I'm like, my back's all sore. So I sit long enough. You guys know what? Well, and welcome back, real quick, if I haven't already done that. You know, the one thing that I didn't realize when I upped the dino difficulty is I don't have any torque or torque. <laughs> I don't have any. Yeah, it's funny. Um, oh, shit. No freaking way. Oh, no. We're going to have to move our base again. Well, welcome back anyway. Good time to say that because there's a freaking Spinosaurus right there. Ugh. Anyway, what I was trying to say is I don't have any trinked arrows. And so I'm going to have to beat the dinos unconscious with my, my beating stick. For now, until I get torque, uh, trank arrows. But now we're gonna have to play the uh, avoidance game because of the uh, Spinosaurus over there. Also, side subject: I'm gonna, if I remember to, I'm gonna run a poll. It should be in the top, top right of the screen. Um, there is one mod in particular that I really, really, really want to add to the game. But I don't want you guys to be upset about it. And so I remember, I think I mentioned it. There's a Baryonyx right there too. Shoot. Is the um, Dino Bars. And if you remember, I mentioned how it gives, it's like a little HP bar. It shows the dino level, the type of dino, their HP, and their torpidity. So, my justification for it is I upped the dino difficulty by 5. So I made the game, you know, 5 times harder than standard vanilla at level 30. So it's very important that I be able to see what the dinosaur's levels are. And to be honest, I'm, I'm pretty sure the next level, the next recording video, you guys will just see the dino bars in there. But I just uh, we're gonna we're gonna do it. What level is he? Forty. Of course it did. Getting bloody yet? Come on, bud. Getting bloody? Oh, he's getting bloody. We almost got him. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah! Maybe we don't got this. Nope. We almost had it. Almost. We, he was all bloody and shit. Oh, man. So close. I think if we respawn in... And... This is why it's important to have backup spears. Backup stuff. Because if we were to, let's see, we need thatch, with thatch, wood, fiber, stone, flint. I'm gonna try to go nail him real quick. I think he left our body. Where'd he go? We did. Oh, we're gonna go track this some bitch down, aren't we? Yeah, give me all my stuff back. Where'd he go? There he is. What do I need for a bolas? I need three hide. I don't think I have any hide. Alright, we're gonna try this again. Oh, 
Oh, he's so close. He is so close to being dead. He's all bloody and everything. Like, if I could get, like, two more shots in. And this is what I was talking about with the stone bed, too. That, uh... Now we have to respawn randomly. Let's see, 40%, so that means it's at 60 degrees. 61 degrees, okay. Sorry, I'm just keeping an eye. Oh my god, we spawned over here. Oh, shit. Uh, basically, we respawned on the opposite side. Of where we are. Our base is on the other side of the thing over there. By the way, take a moment uh, to enjoy this beautiful... Oh, the sun is bright. Um, landscape. Beautiful graphics. I have everything... The quality and everything set up. Mostly epic. You saw it in the preview earlier. Oh, no. And he's over there, too. Oh, shit. Alright. Well, we're going to go get our buddy back. Uh, and then I'll decide whether or not I'm going to try to take him on again for a third time. And we might even have to take down that Spino if we can. I don't think we can. Because you can see our base right there. And you can see he's standing right next to it. And the Baryonyx is standing right next to our body. Level 75. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Uh... Ay, 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 ay. Alright. Try this again. I don't think it's spawning me on the other side because the spino's there. I think that's the issue here. So why don't we just pick up. Why don't we just focus on getting restocked? We'll BRBs. I'm gonna restock. And then we're going to try to take down the Baryons. We, we got to come up with a different strategy. Alright. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we are back pretty much where we... Pretty much where we left off. And before we decided to take on the Baryonyx. Um, we are still on the other side of the river. But... I went ahead and got us pretty well... Actually, I should probably make some of these too while we're doing this. Uh, does it provide any armor? It does. So we should do this. Okay. Um, I've got a bow and arrow. And I've got three of the bolas this time. I think I'm going to make one more. Uh, because, I, honestly, that's the only thing we need to take down this sucker. Is the bolas. We just have to, like, hit him. Get, like, three or four shots in with the bow. And then hit him with another bolas. Three or four shots in. We'll get it. We'll get him down. And then that, that's that's the goal of this episode is taking down that stupid Baryonyx. Like, oh, it pissed me off so bad. And then we died to a freaking level 75 Dilophosaurus. Like, Jesus, man, Jesus. So we can do, th let's just do two more. I don't want to go overboard and, you know, die and lose all my stuff. But basically, I want, I brought you guys back because I'm just about ready to head over there. I just want to eat some, uh, Eat some, cook up some of this food and eat it, and get uh, get some pants on and some shoes. I need more fiber though. Hang on. To be honest though, my goal is to make a bunch of or make a bunch of my stats into tor into uh, fortitude, so that I'll be fine. Let's see, I need the shoes and the pants. Um, yeah, the weather will have a little little effect on me. I prefer it that way instead of having to like switch between flak armor and ghillie suit and then back to fur gauntlets and just, you know, for you art players out there, you understand. You know what I'm talking about. just died to a level 50 piranha 
who I almost got. But, here's the good news. We can respawn at my bed this time. But, here's the bad news. All of our stuff... Uh, is over there, and the Spinosaurus is right there. Isn't this game exciting? Like, it doesn't matter that we were not even in the hard zone. Like, even in the, the safe zone is a challenge. But it looks like my stuff is in a relatively close look. I, I almost made it to the beach. Like, I was very close. Come on, give me all my stuff. There we go. Alright. Okay, just go around the freaking rock then. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Let me drop all this shit. And put all this on. Moment of truth. We're gonna take down this sucker once and for all. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? Get some, homie. Get some. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to go ahead and call that nice and good. Take that. Used to be level 40. Freaking Barry on it. You piece of shit. Oh, my goodness. I was getting a little worried there because, like, I saw him starting to die. But, uh, um, I wasn't sure, like, how long the bolas were going to freaking stick. So, anywho, we got our body back, even though... I don't need half. I don't need all this shit that I got on here. Drop, 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 drop. Actually, we can eat that stuff. I don't know why I'm dropping it. Drop. So much shit to drop. Okay, so let's up my health. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully that video was entertaining enough for you because it took a long time for me to make that happen i mean not a super long time but like longer than i was intending for um but if you guys like this video please make sure to give me that thumbs up if you dislike this video and you're still here thank you for sticking around to the end and feel free to give me that thumbs down but i do request that you leave me a little comment to tell me what i could have done to make this video better for you so that you would feel the need or feel the want to give me that thumbs up and if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel to catch future art videos and check out previous content that we have on the channel. But until the next video, I'll see you all later.